There are only two animals on the planet that the Creator identified himself with. The first one is the eagle. The eagle. And the second animal is the lion. And when I identified those two animals as his favorite to identify himself with, I recognized I better study these two animals because if he is the leader of the universe and I want to be a leader on earth, I better find out the nature of these animals and also the at attitude of these animals. And I discovered that both of them are the kings of their domain. The eagle is the king of the bird kingdom. And the lion is the king of the animal kingdom. But let's talk a little bit about the lion. The lion has what I call the spirit of leadership. And this word spirit here is referring to attitude. Everybody say attitude. A leader has a attitude that makes him or her different from followers. Now, the lion is the king of the jungle, but the lion to me is a great source of encouragement to all of us. I want you to write this down. Remember this as long as you live. Number one, the lion is not the tallest animal in the jungle. Number two, the lion is not the largest animal in the jungle. Number three, the lion is not the heaviest animal in the jungle. Number four, the lion is not the smartest animal or the most intelligent animal in the jungle. And yet, when he shows up, they all run away. Well, here's one of my favorite quotes that I put in my books, and I believe it really brings home the point. An army of sheep led by a lion will always defeat an army of lions led by a sheep and the answers to that dilemma is this because leadership can transform cowards into violent warriors the right kind of leadership can transform a timid into bold people who are fearless leadership is that powerful leadership can walk into a camp of depressed people and in 20 minutes, they have turned on into unbelievable, powerful armies. Because leadership determines everything.